Hello everybody, welcome to Selenium Training. Today we will be talking about XPaths. What XPaths are, how they are used, why they are important and how Selenium can work with XPaths. Fine. So in order to work with XPaths, first you need to understand what an XPath is. On my website or on any web based application, for example I move over to the site gmail.com. Okay. On this site, there will be various objects. There is a button, there is a text field, there is a link, there is an image. Everything on the page, on this page is having a unique ID or unique path. Okay, that, that path is known as an X path. It's just something like a house number. Okay, every house has a unique house number. Tomorrow you can break that house and remake that house, but the house number will remain the same. So tomorrow the sign in button is replaced by another say green color button sign in. A sign in button whose color has changed, say it's, it's a green color button tomorrow. So the X path will remain the same. So what Selenium does, it uses X path to identify the objects. Okay. There are other ways to identify the objects in Selenium as well, but XPath are quite famous. XPath is a unique path to the element. I will tell in detail how that XPath is formed. Before that, you need to download an add-on into your Mozilla known as Firebug. With the help of that, you can determine the XPath or the address of every element. So you go to Google and type Firebug. Go to getfirebug.com The first search result and Firebug only installs in Mozilla. So make sure that you are doing it in Mozilla. It installs as an add-on in Mozilla. Click on install Firebug and on the next page it's a little bit slow. Okay, let it open. Right. Out here click on this icon and this will be get the latest version 1.8 is the latest one today. Okay. Click on allow and this will get installed. It will just take a little bit of time and it will be installed on your Mozilla as a add-on. Now if after it's installed you need to restart your Mozilla. Okay. You click on restart now and Mozilla Firefox will be restarted and it will be having a Firebug in it. How do you come to know? You click on tools, there will be an option called Firebug coming over here. You go to open Firebug and a window like this will open below. You click on this small mouse icon out here. When you click on it and move your mouse, okay, so it gives you property or the code for every object. For example, I move my mouse over the text. This will highlight it inside the HTML code. This is something like similar to object spy in QTP. Okay, but you have to install another add-on which is on top of Firebug. Okay, you, you see this tabs. Okay, console HTML CSS script. I will add install an add-on called fire path through which you will be able to get the X path of the elements. Right, right now I am not able to get the X paths. I will tell you how the X paths are. First to install an add-on called fire path. You click on this link and click on download now for fire path. So this will down install another add-on on top of Firebug. First install Firebug, then install Firepath. Fine. Once Firepath is done, just restart. And now if you open your Firebug, you will have an option called Firepath over here. Okay. You click on this mouse and this mouse icon and move your mouse over to over any element. Okay, let me close this and open it again. Yeah, you see that now I am getting 
something known as an X path over here. This is an X path. This is a unique path of any element on the page. For example, I move my mouse over app about Mozilla link. Okay, so this is the X path of that link. Suppose I go to gmail.com and out here I have a username and password field. If you open Firebug and go to username field, okay, out here you will see that the ID is email. This is the X path. Later on we will see what an ID is, how it is relevant, okay, but X path is something which is unique for every element and Selenium actually uses X path to identify elements. If I have to write in this text field, I, I can see this text field, I can write in it. But Selenium will actually see this text field with the help of this X path. Okay, so this is how you find X paths in Selenium.